Hey guys, this is another beer review for you guys, and it's by Rogue. Again, yes. I had this brewing before, so as you can see, the regular same on top and uh, on that. This one is a uh, chocolate stout, and it has an interesting uh, low in the front, as you can see here. It's the lady. It says improved chocolate. So uh, I can't wait to taste this one. And it says dare to risk and dream on the top of, of these most of, most of their bottles I've seen so far. It does just uh, a couple ingredients here. It says 12 ingredients. That's great. West uh, Western 2 uh, crystal, you know, uh, chocolate, romance, bulk, farm. Uh, micro brewery uh, hop yards, emergential uh, edible hops, and rolling oaks, and um, rosy, barley, natural chocolate flavoring. It says no added preservatives, no chemicals, so it's, I guess, a pretty organic beer. Um, the IBUs are 69, and it says to serve it at 45 degrees. So um, I don't know with the green happening, but who cares really? And it's an Oregon, Oregon beer brewery. <clears throat> the alcohol content is not listed um, for some reason. But I will estimate as the video goes on and I will leave the ABU at the bottom, obviously. And I have researched this after the video is done. So yeah, I've been sick too. So I've been doing beer reviews sick. If you guys haven't noticed. And the rogue is popped. And there is smoke. I know you guys can't see the smoke coming out, but I am not lying when I see smoke. And it uh, will be poured just right now in this semi-clean cup that I tend to pull sometimes. The only other chocolate stouts I've had was from Double um, Wells Double Chocolate, which was very good. I've also recently had um, an Imperial Stout by um, <clears throat> by uh, North Coast Brewing Company. So um, I guess that's what I'll be comparing that to because it is a pretty dark beer. As you can see, you can barely see anything. It has very little head. So it's an imperial style. It might be in the alcohol volume of uh, 8 or 9 or 10 or higher, I think. And it smells like uh, like um, chocolate, uh, coffee grounds. You could definitely smell that. There is a little uh, dry woodiness. Uh, get a little witness. That's about it. Like they, they might have still um, put these barrels, but as you can see, the head is dissipated. Not much of the head, but it does look good. It does look enticing. It does smell good, and um, you know, it looks it looks reddish and brownish. If anything, if you, if you guys can see it, and I, and I am anticipating this very much. I don't know if I like it. I don't like it better than uh, you know, all Rasputin, but it's uh, it's pretty close. Actually, it does not remind me of um, double chocolate. Well, it's double chocolate. It does remind me a little of the Imperial style from uh, North Coast, though. but North Coast blows it out of the water. I'm saying that Rogue Chocolate Stout is not great. It's, it's pretty good. So, 
I'm really liking it. I can't even, I don't know how much alcohol it is in this, but I'm not sipping this out. I, don't, I mean, I'm almost guzzling it. I'm almost done with it. Look how good it is. So, roll. are okay with me so far. Ooh, their brew, um, brews are solid beers. Definitely solid beers. So, um, I will keep drinking. Let's get two glasses of this. <clears throat> wow, it's amazing. Um, I highly recommend it. I, what else can I say? It's um, it's an eight in my book, a solid eight, one of the top um, chocolate um, and girl stouts I've had so far. Um, I'm really liking that style. There was one I've had, but I can't remember the name of it right now. But I had it and I really didn't enjoy it. But maybe it's because I, I'm, too, uh, I'm trying, like, like sort of this reminds me of um, Eric and Bastard also in, in a way, this this one. And that's a good thing because it, it has that bitterness that you don't expect because I'm trying to compare it to um, Northern Coast. But the bitterness, it really reminds me of the old, you know, um, I mean, the, the old flavor, the, the, the aromas that are coming out of that. And it smells so much like chocolate, but this like the body is a little watery, but not too. It's not a heavy body. But weirdly, it's kind of balanced. Um, I would say if you guys like chocolate and bitter beers, because this is a slightly bitter beer than um, Old Rasputin uh, Imperial Stout. But I am enjoying this one a lot. So um, yeah, it's definitely a solid beer, like I said. So that's that's my rating for it. I'll see you guys later. Enjoy your beers, whatever you have, and uh, Merry Christmas if I don't speak to anyone. And Happy New Year's. So cheers. Look for better years, guys.